I want to turn to John Boniface, who's an attorney and political activist specializing in constitutional law and voting rights, co-founder and president of Free Speech for People, one of the organizations that launched the Impeach Donald Trump Now campaign just moments after Trump's inauguration. More than 200,000 people from across the country have already joined the campaign. Uh, John, talk about what you are calling for right now. Well, we think that there must be an impeachment investigation initiated in the United States Congress based on the violations of the emoluments clauses, the Foreign Emoluments Clause and the Domestic Emoluments Clause, both of which make clear that the President of the United States cannot engage in the kind of corruption that we're seeing now of the Oval Office. This kind of corruption is massive, and it's far worse than even Watergate. And Nixon White House Counsel John Dean has said that the presidency is not a profit-making enterprise for its occupant. It is a public office, and the president is a public servant. And the president, this president, does not seem to understand that concept. He is engaged in businesses all over the world. He's refused to divest from his businesses. And as a result, he has serious conflicts of interest from all the foreign payments he's receiving from foreign governments and from the domestic payments from state governments and from the federal government that collide directly with the Constitution. He swore an oath of office to protect and uphold the Constitution. He's already violating it. And this impeachment investigation must proceed. Uh, you know, it's interesting, John. Uh, in 2014, um, Donald Trump talked about the prospects for impeaching Obama, tweeting, quote, are you allowed to impeach a president for gross incompetence? Your response? Well, I, I, maybe he was projecting and what might happen if he uh, became president. But look, this is a president who does not uh, obey the Constitution. He defies the rule of law. No one in this country is above the rule of law, no matter how powerful he or she may be. And that includes the president of the United States. That is a bedrock principle of our democracy. And that's why we launched, with Roots Action, the campaign at impeachdonaldtrumpnow.org. Uh, and we already have, as you mentioned, 200,000 people around the country joining this campaign. I think it's only a matter of time before a member of Congress introduces our proposed resolution that's on our site, starting an impeachment investigation. But we have How to hold this president right accountable. Now? I'm sorry? How many signatures do you have right now? Nearly a quarter of a million and counting uh, at impeachdonaldtrumpnow.org. And, you know, the point on this is that when a president you know, it's engages. That I, I, I just want to say it's interesting a White House.gov petition demanding that President Trump release his personal income tax returns broke the uh, website's record for signatures at 380,000. Um, but five seconds, John. I think people need to join this campaign from all over the country to uphold our Constitution and the rule of law at impeachdonaldtrumpnow.org. It's time we demand accountability and impeach this president. Well, I want to thank John Boniface, director of Free Speech for People, Dale Ho of the ACLU's Voting Rights Project, and Professor Brian Schaffner of University of Massachusetts Amherst. That does it for our show. I'll be speaking here in Park City, Utah, at the Park City Museum, 528 Main Street, next to Main Street, next to Dolly's Bookstore, uh, here in Park City at one o'clock today. People can check our website. Many thanks to our local crew here at Park City Television: Stanton Jones, Kevin Rapp, Keith Pulley, Bennett Dutchin, Linda Hodge, and Eurebia Barrios. Democracy Now produced by my. Berkman, Marie Shea, Carla Wills, Lita, Alora, Goddess Dean, Dina Guzder, Sam Malkoff, Robbie, Karen, Honey, Masood, Trina, Nadura, and Andre Lewis, Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Nagara, Paul Huckabee, our engineer. Special thanks to Julie Crosby, David Crude, Dennis Moynihan, John Hamilton, Renee Feltz. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.